Great. Hi. Con oh, wow. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, you you are the sweetest man. I'm just watching you and and I'm obsessed with you and I want to take you home with me. I want to hug you for cat. Was that our camera? <laughs> yes. That's you are the sweetest man. So, do you I'm Lauren. Lauren, nice to meet you. Do, are you a diehard Yankees fan just because default, the Bronx? That's, that's the most incredible story. That question is amazing. I mean, is you know it? Why? Uh, I'm not a Yankee fan. I, uh, this is an incredible. You asked the best question. No one asked this at all, ever. Really? There was 15 friends of ours, you know, and we have from kindergarten. And there were only two of us. When, when I was in the 30s and 40s, the Yankees were dominant. I mean, they would win every every time. And and uh, my partner, he came, became my partner on Biz Shapiro West production, Howard West. We sort of gravitated towards the underdogs. The Dodgers were a very colorful team, you know, and we and, and they were underdogs. And the Yankees were so extremely prominent. Yeah. So we became Dodger fans. And then the, the excitement. When Jackie Robinson broke through, you know, and, 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 and then the, the happiest year of my life yeah. was 1955, when the Dodgers won the World Series from the Yankees. Wait, but so 1955 is the happiest year of my life. What about now? You want to hear something funny? Yes. Uh, I won't say it, because you have to know. Did you see the film? Not yet. Okay, okay, then I will. Uh, what, what, okay, okay, I'm not going to tell you. There's so many, so many great things in it. I'm but, but so excited to see it. Call me anytime after the film. You're that, so uh, sweet. And you know what I was, I was thinking about you is it? You kind of reminded me in the Bronx Tale when he says, "Is Mickey Mantle pay your rent?" Uh, well, <laughs> screw the Yankees, right? I admired Mickey Mantle. He was a great hitter. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, you know. We went here. There was a guy named at the Dodgers named Harry Abrams, and nobody knows him, right? I mean. He was an outfielder, and one game he hit three home runs. And you know, the headlines in the New York Post said, the "Mantle Schmantle, we got Abrams." It's, 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 it's something that's stuck in my head. It's not even that great of a headline either. Uh, did, did you ever hear of Pee Wee Reese and, and Duke Snyder? No. Right. Well, yeah, they were two of my, my icons when, uh, uh, when I was growing up. Uh, Pee Wee Reese, Pee Wee Reese was from Kentucky, and he was a shortstop for the Dodgers. Okay. And Jackie Robinson was a second baseman, number 42, and there was a racial prejudice like never before in history. Oh and and, and Pee-wee... And Pee He's the cutest oh, oh. man I've ever known in my life. He, and he gets away with murder because of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was telling him that Pee-wee restart Jackie Robinson story. Oh, really? I, on Cincinnati when Jackie, you know, they, that was so racial horror, horror place. It was Cincinnati. Right. And Pee-wee Reese put his arm around him and, and, and they, that picture went viral forever and ever. Before viral was even viral, right? Yeah, That's yeah. Right. There was actual virus in those days. <laughs> <laughs> People felt horrible. Oh my God, this yeah. guy worked so hard and he still came tonight. That is a true. So nice. I mean, that is a testament to you. I gave him the night it off. It's a testament. Oh, it is. It's, I, I really appreciate it. You have no idea. Well, we had the greatest well, thank time you. of our lives. Thank you so much. Night. Thank you. <laughs>